March 23rd, approximately 4.40, I just arrived home. Uh, it was my anniversary, and I had some chores to do at my house before the rain came in. So I had heard a loud scream from the street. So when I looked over there, I saw a car pulled over to the side of the road, and they proceeded to pull away from my house. So I kind of went back to what I was doing. And several seconds later, I heard the screaming continue. So at that moment, I knew something was wrong. So I immediately kind of dropped what I was doing and ran over to the uh, side of the road. And at that moment, when I got there, I observed a male assaulting uh, his female passenger, which ended up being his wife. Uh, kind of dropped everything and grabbed the guy. I pulled him out of the car and I got him to the ground and we wrestled for a little bit and I was able to subdue him and hold him down, at which point the uh, female passenger, his wife, exited the vehicle and she came around the back and she was holding a knife that had been used against her. And she had several, I think it was nine stab wounds to the face and three to the rest of her body, including her thumb, which was pretty much barely hanging on. So at that moment, I kind of realized the severity of the situation and it really sunk in how real it was. So finally, a 70-year-old war vet pulled over and he grabbed a weapon from his car and he stood by and what seemed like 20 minutes ended up being around five. The uh, police finally showed up and uh, they took control of the situation. It's an incredible story, uh, but Frank's the kind of guy that works here. You're proud to work with someone who would stand up for a member of the public like this. I, I would say Frank is absolutely a hero. He really did stand up for a uh, member of the public, uh, a woman in need, and didn't hesitate and took action. A kind of guy I'm proud to work with.